Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel, Crypto English. So hi guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the current hot topic, the details about FTX collapse and what happened to FTT token. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till then. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment below. And this video like that is 200 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So guys, first thing, FTT uh, is one of, uh, if the token of the FTX exchange. And if you want to know about the story, we need to go back to the August 25th. So now FTX and Alameda is like, uh, Alameda is the investment leg of FTX. And on August 25th, CEO of Alameda Research has stepped down. So one of the CEO of Alameda Research, uh, he stepped down from his role on August 25th. And immediately after one month, on September 27th, crypto exchange FTX US. So FTX US and FTX International are two different things. And FTX US president has also stepped out on uh, September 27th. And this was getting serious. And after a month on October 17th, crypto exchange FTX US under investigation by tax regulators. So this, uh, this was the situation where uh, tax regulators started investigating on FTX US and its funds. And finally, the breaking, like uh, this was the most important thing which affected the total collapse of FTX was this news from Coindex. Uh, on November 2nd, they have released an article mentioning that Alameda Research, which was holding $14.6 billion worth of assets, he's having most of the portfolio filled with their own FTT token. So this was a serious thing. Uh, things started getting clear here now. So what exactly has happened? So what exactly has happened is FTT was a token of FTX and FTT tokenomics was very, very weird. So most of the tokens uh, of FTT tokens, like 90% of the tokens was holding uh, uh, by FTX or either Alameda. So now Alameda, what has done is they are holding major portion of FTT tokens and in the market, FTX, uh, they started pumping the FTX. So as the price of FTT, uh, FTT token move up, uh, the value or balance sheet of Alameda Research also will be growing up. So now once they are growing up and they what they have done is they have kept their FTT tokens as a collateral instead of selling. So if they sell that tokens, the price will dump. So instead of selling, they kept FTT tokens as a collateral and they have borrowed stable coins like USDT, stable coins and other assets and they started investing in multiple firms and multiple projects. They have started acquiring projects and they have started uh, saving the projects from bankruptcy and multiple things they have done with those funds. So now Finally, when the market started going down, if they, they their collateral ratio go down, what they have to do, they have to sell their FTT tokens and they have to uh, repay their loan. So that uh, that also impacted the fall of the FTT token price. And uh, after that, some serious news has come out. On 5th November, uh, 23 million FTT tokens were moved to Binance Exchange and which is worth around 584 million dollars. So that was very huge and many users were speculating that these are the funds uh, which uh, uh, Binance has withdrawn and they might sell. And within uh, 24 hours or next day, CZ Binance has officially posted on his Twitter handle mentioning that we have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT tokens on our book. So, and he has agreed that these uh, 580 million worth of tokens were withdrawn by Binance itself to liquidate or to sell them in the open market. So, which means 580 million is a very huge and they he also mentioned that they came to know about some irregularities in the accounting of FTX and Alameda and then they have they have decided to liquidate those assets in the open market. So now after that price has crashed drastically and even uh, uh, Alameda CEO has uh, requested to uh, buy those tokens at 22 but that deal didn't go well and they started dumping. And Immediately after that, many users started complaining their withdrawals are struck or their withdrawals are taking time. So I have decided to withdraw my funds on November 7th, 9 a.m. UTC, sorry, IST. And I tried ERC20 withdrawal, that didn't happen. And then I tried to con uh, withdraw them on Binance Smart Chain and after that it has happened successfully. So and I posted that uh, users, whether the users are also having the same issue and ask them to use the Binance Smart Chain to withdrawals. So after that, most of the community members have withdrawn and along with that other uh, or whole crypto space has started withdrawing from some FTX after CZ Binance. So because of that, FTX has run short of the funds or they couldn't um, uh, 
uh, honor all of the withdrawals because they were getting in huge volumes like they would have withdrawn or maybe they would have supported around 5 billion dollars worth of withdrawals they could not be having so much funds because they have uh, used those funds for an, uh, uh, another investments or uh, another thing so which was uh, not sufficient for the withdrawal honoring so now because of that uh, ftx has stopped the withdrawals and it was a very bad situation and price has fallen further and it has touched almost two dollars and it has moved back to five dollars so by the time ftx has stopped the withdrawals but on the next day on 8th november binance has announced clearly that they are going to sign a non binding loi to take over or acquire ftx completely so after that news price started or people started feeling happy but as a part of this acquisition binance has to do some documentation they have to scrutinize the account because if they are acquiring that particular firm they will get all the debts or or problems in the accounts of that particular firm so now immediately after uh, within uh, uh, on november 10th early morning binance has cleared that they their plans for acquisition of ftx has cancelled because of some irregularities in the accounts of ftx so after this then now everyone has lost the hopes and now ftx has gone down even further so now that is what happened so far so now recently with uh, few min few minutes back uh, some 53 minutes back before recording this video sam has posted a big thread on the complete situation and he uh, i'll share you some important things the important points started nine point number nine so he clearly mentioned that their first priority is uh, uh, honoring the users funds and their withdrawals and they are planning to raise some liquidity through some investment or something and once they get some sufficient funds they will honor the withdrawals is what uh, sam has mentioned but i feel it is very difficult to raise funds at this situation they have already completed multiple rounds and people have lost a uh, big vcs have invested in them and i don't think anyone will be doing any investment further because they have utilized customer funds for another purpose so now because of all this now uh, we may or may not uh, have takes users may or may not get their funds back to their account so now if you withdraw your funds from ftx on time do leave your comment in comment section below and if you have stuck your funds in ftx do mention how much funds you have logged in your ftx account so now that's all guys that's all about today's video about uh, uh, ftx what has happened and what can be expected so now after this uh, it is better to hold your major portion of crypto assets into your personal wallets like metamask or uh, hardware wallets rather than putting in centralized exchange so if you want to trade you can use decentralized exchange if you are worried about fees and gas fees you can move them to uh, centralized exchange trade them and again move back to your uh, uh, wallets and then you can hold them in your wallet safely so that will be safer for some time because uh, the exchange uh, like ftx has collapsed means anything can happen in crypto so be safe uh, do your uh, safety precautions so that's all guys that's all about today's video about ftx and its collapse story if you like this video click the like button if you are new to this channel subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts or clarification leave them in the comment section below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind